Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So I'm here with Sally again. Who's going to be using, who I'm going to be using to demonstrate how to do Senegalese twists. Um, I really like them and I kind of just jumped on the twist wave. I know, I've been doing heavy years, but it's literally only now that I've started, I started doing twists. To begin, you're going to just section your hair. I'm doing this very roughly with my hands, just for the purpose of the video. I'm going to take quite a big section just so you guys can see clearly what I'm doing. And then you're going to take your Kinecolon hair. I'm using the braiding hair from Trendy Tresses. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm going to use about, about this much. So as you can see, the ends are quite um, blunt. So I'm just going to pull on them. Pull them down. So that they're not blunt anymore. Anyway. Because this will help the twist to stay in, basically. I'm just going to pull on it. Like that. Okay, so now my ends are not blunt anymore. What I'm now going to do is just take this side into half, like that. So I'm just going to split it down the middle. And this is the starting point for our Senegalese twist. Split it down the middle. I'm going to show you the normal way first, as I've said. So you're going to take the middle of our hair. You're going to place it in between the two strands that we've just split like this. So as you can see, it's just right in the middle. You're going to hold this side to one side. You're going to take this side that's on my left. And then you're going to start rolling it away from Sally's face. So you're just rolling it like that. Making sure that the root is nice and tight well taut basically so that it just stays you're going to roll it till you get to about there you're going to hold that to one side you can use um maybe a clip to hold it if you're worried it's going to slip out and you're going to take this side and then you're going to roll it um away from the face again lola i'm recording so you're going to take this side and you're going to roll it away from Sally's face. So you're basically rolling both sides anti-clockwise, like so. So both sides should basically look like that when you're done. And then you're going to take the side that we started with, so the side on the left. You're going to place it over the other side and then literally just start two strand twisting like normal and as you do that you're just going to keep rolling the hair because this is how it begins to form the rope the rope twist assembly twist so you're just going to keep rolling it place it over rolling it place it over and i just spread my stuff you're going to keep rolling it and two strand twist in it roll and twist roll and twist and something else you can do just to make sure the twist comes out even more slick and sleek is you could use edge control on the edges and along your natural hair so that it just kind of all blends more naturally so more nicely and just looks more slick and sleek really so yeah just keep rolling and twisting until you get all the way to the bottom let me zoom out so you guys can see As you can see, it's really easy, it's not, it's not difficult. I guess the starting point is a bit tricky at first. Even me, I found it tricky when I was first doing it, which is why I discovered the other way. But yeah, once you get the hang of it, it's quite straightforward. But I personally prefer to do it with the Mali hair because it just blends better with my natural hair, which is more kinkier. And it's just, the hold is a lot better than this kind of hair. But I like this look as well. So yeah. Just keep plaiting that, sorry, not plaiting, twisting that. So roll and twist, roll and twist is the motion of this. Roll and twist, roll and twist, roll. And as you can see, it's looking like a rope, which is what you want. So 
And as you can see, as we get towards the end, you can see why I said it's not a good idea for the ends to be blunt. Because if they were blunt, this would not be staying in at all. And so to secure the ends further, you could dip it in hot water, which is what I like to do. Um, I think some people burn theirs, um, some people just leave it, but I prefer to just dip it in hot water to make the ends just hold better. And I just think it looks better as well. So yeah, so I'm just gonna show you the whole twist from the bottom to the top. Cause I'm doing this roughly what you might find at first when you do this is that there might be a few bumps in the middle or it's just not exactly how you wanted it to look but first time doing everything is not perfect that's a close up of how it looks how the twist looks and again this is just a rough guide and this is the root and then this is the twist From all the way to the top to the bottom. Zoomed in. So this time you're basically going to do the same thing but anti-clockwise. So you're going to place the hair in the middle, take this side and go do it going towards her face, roll it going towards her face. So make sure the root is nice and tight as well. What you're doing, side you're doing going towards her face as well. So, and then what you're going to do is take this side on our right, you're going to put it over this side and then just simply start twisting it. And as you can see, so same thing. You roll and twist. So make sure you get the root nice and tight, otherwise that will happen. You don't want that to happen. Meeting up the top. I don't want to leave it like that. This side here on the right goes over. And then you start twisting it as normal. Or I don't know, I prefer this one, I do this, doing it the inverted way. I just prefer how it looks at the root. To me it looks like a thousand times in that track. So it's going towards the face, you roll it to finish the twisting as opposed to the other way around. anti clockwise. That is your twist. Like I said, personally, I prefer this one all the way because this looks so much more natural to me. Look at the roots. Compare the roots and tell me which one you guys prefer. So I prefer this one. Tell me if you guys prefer this one or this one in the comments. So yeah, though, that's how to do some of these twists. I hope you guys liked it. Just a very rough demo. Like I said, I'm new to this whole twisting game. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. And be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, let me know if you've got any other tutorials. Bye bye.